वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन ग्राफ थियरी इन विच आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू ड्रो ग्राफ फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन ड्रो ट्री फोर गिवन ग्राफ एंड बेस्ड ऑन गिवन ट्री आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई कट सेट एंड कट सेट मैट्रिक्स and based on that i'll explain you how to form kcl equations as well as voltage equations so everything that we are dealing with to cover in this problem so let us see the question first so here if you observe in question network is shown with given data in that we are dealing with to calculate graph we are dealing with to plot one tree i'll explain you how to make cut set matrix and then we will form kcl and voltage equations so if you observe this circuit in that we are dealing with to draw graph first so when you want to draw graph in that case first of all you should identify nodes so whenever you want to identify nodes first of all you will have to provide a short circuit with voltage source and provide open circuit with current source so this voltage source is short circuited so here you should not consider separate node as it is short circuit and with this branch we are having only one resistor with graph drawing so here there will be one node let us say this is one after inductor there is second node here and after capacitor there is third node here now here mutual inductance is given but in graph theory this mutual inductance cannot be considered so here simply we are having three nodes with this given circuit so i should be drawing three nodes here let us say node 1 node 2 and node 3 that i am drawing over here and now i'll be connecting all the elements with these nodes so if you observe here this voltage source is short circuit so in between 1 and 3 this branch is connected let us say this is branch a over here so i'm connecting branch a in between 1 and 3 and randomly i'm considering direction so here i1 is given so let us say it is there in same direction now let us connect this inductor as a branch in between 1 and 2 so let us say this is branch b so i'm connecting branch b in between 1 and 2 and i am just showing direction also now in between 2 and 3 capacitor is connected let us say that is branch c so i am connecting branch c in between 2 and 3 now you see this inductor that is been considered as branch d and that is connected in between 1 and 3 let me connect it over here so direction i have considered randomly you don't need to worry about it and connection that i have shown as per elements which is connected over here just understand this voltage source that should be considered as short circuit so this is graph of given circuit now my dear students our second question is to draw one tree so you should know basic definitions of what is tree and how to form tree now first thing that you should note down is number of branches in tree that is total number of nodes minus 1 so here total 3 nodes are there so i can say 3 minus 1 means two branches will be there for tree of this graph so whenever you want to plot tree let us draw three nodes first so i'm just drawing three nodes you see node number 1 node number 2 and node number 3 now my dear students there are few basic things that you should note down for a tree see tree does not form any closed loop and it should cover all the nodes so it should cover 1 2 3 node and it should not form any closed loop so simply i can say see this is one branch and this is second branch so two branches are there right and it is covering all the node it is not forming any loop so i can say this is my tree and as this is our tree 
I can say these are twigs of given graph as I am considering this as tree and A and D that is not connected in this tree. So those are links. So whenever you draw links, you should be drawing it by dashed line. So I'm showing you over here. This is my branch A, which is link. And over here also, I'm having another branch D that is also link. So this is my diagram, which is based on tree structure. Now, my dear students, we are deal with to provide cut set. Now, see, if you want to identify how cut set is there, then you should know the basic definition of cut set. So for fundamental cut set, it should have one twig and rest link. So you observe at node one, if you provide cut set like this, in that case, it will be having one twig B and link A and D. So I can say this is my fundamental cut set C1. Now, here you cannot provide cut set at node 2 as both are twig. So let us see what is happening with node 3. So if you provide cut set over here, you see it is having one twig that is C and two links that is A and D. So I can say I am having two cut set C1 and C2. So here cut set C1 that is B, A, D. And in that you see this B that is one twig and this A and D these are links. If you see cut set C2 that is C A D. So in that you see this C that is one twig and this A D these are links. So that is how two cut sets are there. Now my dear students let us form cut set matrix. So when you want to form cut set matrix, vertically we should write cut set. So we are having two cut sets C1 and C2 and horizontally we should write branches. So here total four branches are there A, B, C and D. Now my dear students, I'll have to explain you how to provide coefficient with respect to cut set. So you should know direction of cut set that is always there in the direction of twig. So for this cut set C1, you see twig is there in direction of outward direction with B. So direction of cut set C1 that will be like this. And if you see C2, in that twig is C, which is going inside to the C2. So direction of C2 that will be inside. So that is how we can form direction of cut set. Now, let us see the coefficient of C1 with branches. So if you observe C1 is having how many branches A, B and D. And you see this B and D that is there in the direction of C1, but A is there in opposite direction to the C1. So A will be minus one and B and D that will be plus one and C is not connected. So it will be zero. Now, if you see cut set C2, then C and D that is there in the direction of C2. So I'm writing that as plus one and A is there in opposite direction to the direction of C2. So A is minus one and B is not connected. So that is zero. So that is how we can form cut set matrix. So you can write this in form of matrix that is as per minus one, one, zero, one and minus one, zero, one, one. So this is my cut set matrix. Now, my dear students, next question is to write KCL equations. So when you want to write KCL equations, you should know cut set matrix into branch wise current that is equals to zero. So here you see we are having cut set matrix that is this. Let us say those four branches are IA, IB, IC and ID. So cut set matrix into this four branches that is equals to null. So here there are two equations. 
So, two nulls will be there like this. Now, based on this, I can write two equations. You see, first equation will be minus IA plus IB plus ID that is equals to zero. And second equation that is minus IA plus IC plus ID that is equals to zero. So, these two are my KCL equations. Now, my dear students, as if you want to write voltage equation based on cut set matrix, then you will have to use transpose of cut set. So, you should know for voltage equations by cut set, we need to consider a transpose of cut set that into V cut that is equals to branch wise voltage. So, my dear students, you should know the transpose of cut set into V cut. Here, V cut is what? A cut voltage by this cut set. So, equipotential surface is there with this cut set. So, that voltage is V cut, right? And branch wise voltage are VA, VB, VC, and VD. So, here, transpose of this C that I need to write first. So, here I have done transpose of C means I have converted rows into column. So, first row is first column and second row is second column. And here we are having two V cut voltages. And here with V branch, we are having total four branch voltages. Those are VA, VB, VC, VD. So, now I can identify the value of VA. So, VA is minus V cut 1 minus V cut 2. VB is V cut 1 and here V cut 2 is having 0 coefficient. So, I can say VB is V cut 1. VC is V cut 2 and VD is V cut 1 plus V cut 2. So, these are the voltage equations which is there in form of equipotential surface with respect to branch voltage as per cut set matrix and these are my KCL equations as per cut set matrix. So, these are the basic things that you should understand. My dear students, you should do practice along with engineering funda. Definitely, you can be able to solve any question. I am giving you guarantee that if you practice it in the way as I am placing videos over here in sequence, you can be able to solve any questions regarding competitive examination as well as in your university examination. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.